dead. What is dead? Technology, entertainment, and design. All right? Well, what is the X? No one knows about the X in the dead. Here it says X means independently organized event. So who am I? I am that X in Pakistan. I am independent in the thinking. I am independent in my actions. I am independent in my perspective. I am independent in my philosophy and ideology of creating a common ground and a vision for Pakistan and thus for the youth of Pakistan. I tell you interestingly, the nation and this country, this beautiful country, it's about opportunity, but perceptions, they dominate those opportunities and possibilities. Just till yesterday, kal se pehle tak, the word donkey, gada, was considered derogatory. It was considered as a bad and a foul language. Couple of months ago, my son, who's very dear to me and is a student of Roots Millennium, and he broke something, and I just said, you gada. And for two days, he did not talk to me. Yesterday, he, the perception was manipulated or rather inspired by an art film by Geo Films called Donkey Raja. And he said, Daddy, I watched the movie. And I tell you what, the donkey is a king. So I was wrong. I used to think that to be called as a donkey was something wrong. This is what's been happening in Pakistan. The moment you're born, which is an act of nature, how the society, the country, and the citizenry, they nurture you, depends upon the environment. If you do not make a difference, that X factor, if you're not independent, you're a donkey. The moment you make a difference and you create and curate this platform, you're a Raja. How this country transforms donkeys into Raja by the single common denominator of opportunity, of talent, of inclusivity, of equity, of empowerment and emancipation. People say to me, these students, when they were organizing this TED talk, someone wrote to me, they say, Sir Faisal, congratulations. I said, for what? Well, you have been selected as a speaker at this TED talk. I built these universities and institutes and to teach and empower you to that level. Of course, you're supposed to invite me to this talk. But I like the way, I like the way how my job, being a trader in hope. A lot of people ask me, what do you do, Mr. Mushtaq? And I say, I trade in hope and ideas. Once an Urdu television channel, a private television channel, they said, Faisal Sahib, what do you do? I said, I do hope ka kaam karta hu. Then someone said, please don't not say this again. In Punjabi, it means you're pregnant. <laughs> so from that day, I realized, I'm not going to say it in Urdu, but in English, I'll keep saying that I trade in ideas, opportunities, and talks. And what you see today is 100% curated by these people. There's no direct or indirect influence of at least me. They've got inspiration from the teachers, Mr. Mojahid, Ma'am al -Mas, Ma'am Shabana, but the credit goes to these local curators, each one of them, whoever, and how they have reached. You talk about, you talk about man versus machine. You talk about design, you talk about discover, and then what is the third one? You talk about? Develop. 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 I tell you something. For many hundred years, you've been talking about technology versus the human mind. Technology will not replace your teacher. But teachers, those who will not use technology, shall be replaced by the ones, those who do use technology. Second question, man versus machine. Men always think that they conceive the idea of machine, so they are bound to have a profound influence over the machine, which is wrong. With the advancements in artificial intelligence, robotics, eventually machine is going to prevail on the man. When you look at this whole narrative and the whole notion of design, discover and develop, 
To me, it looks like a product. And as I consider people also a product. Kehne ka matlab, agar life ka maksab, design, develop, or discover, ye to wo characteristics and values hai that you need in a product. May that be a Nestle product, or may that be an entertainment and a social product. So that means that people are like products. If people are like products, then who is nurturing you? Who is developing you? Who is giving you, giving you the design? Who is allowing you to discover yourself? You need to think about it. If life is a product, why? Product has an expiry date. So is the life. You are mortal. You are born. You are going to die. Whatever happens, it's about the choices you make. It is about the chances you take. And it is about the change that you sponsor. It is about these three C's. When your life and your product has an expiry date, what happens in between? You are tuned through that process. What is that process? It's called the process of wage. It's a factory model 20th century saturated non-scientific and non-human concept of wage. Each one of you as human beings, as people, as life, you have an age. You are judged by that wage. The wage that you earn is linked to the age that you are in and the possibilities are hence caged. That's why the world is not on the same page. You, your human mind, to deal with the uncertainties and to deal with the possibilities and the orange form of democracy that you see in the United States and the rest of the world. It is about populism. It is about rise of people and their in populist interest. What you see in America, Donald Trump was the rise of populism. The rise of Imran Khan is also populism. What you saw in France and in Germany is the rise of populism. What will happen in the future that your tradition notions that in the when we were young our parents used to say beta do not take a taxi why daddy a it's a bad word you're saying taxi b take a cab and sharif ghar ke bache taxi mein nahi jaate aaj abu uber pe ammi kareem pe sab apne kaamon ko jaati hain perceptions mindset when we were young we were told that beta do not go to the cinema but today entertainment and cinema provides equal opportunity for who we are and what do we do as a society. So is life a product? And if it is, how do you create value of that product? What kind of education, training, mentoring, grooming, opportunity and self-discovery that you know? You talk about these three Ds of dis design, discover and develop. develop. But you do have missing the other three Ds of the desire, the determination, and the drive inside you. Do you really have that desire? Do you really have that just to you? Do you want to make a difference? Or do you want to be part of the status quo? You are born once, you are going to die once. In between, what you do is about the choices and the chances and the change that you sponsor. The desire leads to that determination. हाँ मैंने ये करना है अगर लाहौर मोटरवे से नहीं जा सकता मैं जीटी रोड से जाऊंगा या जाऊंगी एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज ड्राइव अपना रास्ता निकालना जिस तरीके से आज द क्यूरेटर्स हैव पुट टुगेदर दिस शो यंग पीपल एंड माय फेलो सिटीजन एवरीथिंग हैपेंस फॉर अ रीजन अल्लाह सुबहान तला हैज बीन वेरी काइंड टू आस फॉर मेकिंग आस पार्ट ऑफ दिस ग्रेट जर्नी and a great journey called Pakistan. Only blessed people get to the blessings of freedom under the spirit of Pakistan. What we create out of our country is about jobs that we create. It is about talents that we nurture. It is about research that we do. It is about ideas that we incubate. It is about celebrities and heroes that we celebrate. But what do you do? You don't. You get carried away and you in a very, very unfashionable way, 
you get carried away by the lack of consistency in your approach and in your dilemmas of daily life. These platforms, these X talks, the TEDx, it invites you and it inspires you to build on the courage and to build on that diversity within yourself to think behind what is visible. So here you go, make the most out of your life, invest in ideas, be the change that you wish to see. Everything is possible. B being Creating wealth is not the common denominator. Creating jobs should inspire you. Anything that you do must have a social impact in terms of job creation, in terms of tax, in terms of creating equal opportunity and a well-being and a citizenry for our beloved country, Pakistan. Boys and girls, this country has given you everything. Whenever you go abroad for higher education, I do not call it as brain drain. Remember, it is brain gain. Two amazing people, those who built this great country, Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Qaid -e Azam and Ilama Iqbal. One went to England and the other went to Germany. And both of them gave you this beautiful Islami Republic, Jamuria, Pakistan. So it's about what you do with your education. It's not about what you are with your education. And at the end of the day, these degrees are just passports to get to interview stages. At the end of the day, your talent, your passions, your ideas, and your positivity, that is going to nurture the collective will of the nation. Thank you very much.